So you'll do the first dose. When are you going to do it? Tomorrow afternoon? Or? Tomorrow, the same time. What time is it? 21st Are you able to write for ibuprofen or drugs? You don't want to swallow that. Okay. Well, I First, my executive order removing the ability of county attorneys to prosecute women and doctors for performing abortions remains. I refuse to allow extremist county prosecutors to use this abortion ban to lock up women and doctors seeking or providing needed health care. Second, my administration has expanded access to over-the-counter contraceptives. Today, Arizonans across the state can walk into their pharmacy to obtain birth control medication without a doctor's prescription. And they're allowing a law that uh, not a single Arizonan uh, alive today uh, had any any hand in, in voting for or supporting, uh, and they're going to allow that to go back into effect. And so when you ask, why are we going backwards? Um, I think it's because um, there's just too many judges that are allowing their personal views on this issue uh, get in the way of um, what can often be, or it should have been at least in Arizona, a straightforward statutory um, uh, harmonization argument. I'm infuriated that as a physician, my years of medical training and clinical patient experience, as well as those decades of precedent, are being supplanted by politicians and judges who have absolutely no business making medical decisions for my patients. There are now 21 extreme state abortion bans in effect across the country. One third of all women of reproductive age now live in a state with an abortion ban. And all of these bans, including the one upheld today that was upheld by the Arizona Supreme Court, are a direct result of the Supreme Court overturning Roe v. Wade.